reflection. All right, this video is strictly a California patch video. We're gonna show you the quickest, easiest way to do it. You can pretty much do it any size you want. Okay. We have an opening of 440, stud to stud, center to center. Yeah. That's giving it about five mil, or no more than five mil. And same that way, we've got like 390. Mm -hmm. Say two ninety. Double check for forty. You might take it back a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we'll we we so once you got the cut out, it's good to use a, a laser and make it as square as possible. We didn't pull the laser out for this. We just kind of measured, but laser, laser is a lot more accurate. And this, if the ceiling's more than, if you've got three or more joints, you've got to put back blocks in between all the joists. So we've got some mud over there. Pass that up, Jamesy. Got some mud here. You just get a bit of this, smear it on. that <laughs> like so and we're gonna do three here 
We just use corner cement for this, but you can use back blocking cement as well. And it just holds the joints together. So all we need is three there. And then once, once we put the next sheet on, put another three up and they just stick in like that. You give it a little squidge down and that's it. So we're ready for our first sheet. Eugene's just gluing up. And we use a combination of screws and glues. 32 mil. 32 mil screws for ceilings, minimum. You want to put that above your shelf? Can. Okay. So you got body and you've got. All the way over it and then to me. Back here. Yep. I'm good. You good? I'm good. Once you put them in, you want to make sure that they're all the way in sometimes. If they don't, sometimes you might hit a knot in timber or some areas harder than others. Also, before you prep up as well, you want to just make sure this line's flat. Three of them. Two. Probably going to rip that sheet. Now, this next sheet isn't a full width sheet, so we're gonna have to probably rip a sum down. And it's a good time to show you this new tool that was sent to me. And instead of using your finger and cutting along, there's a little tool called the drywall axe, measures and cuts in one. We're gonna go check that out. Probably especially in winter. Give us a measurement, especially in winter. Yeah. My fingers get sore. What do we got there? All right, so we need a 940 wide sheet. This is the drywall axe that I was telling you about. Locks in, has a knife, has a spot for a pencil, and you can just make rips. That's what we're gonna do. So we need 940. You just pull this out, lock it in a place, like right there. So it doesn't do the end very well. It's my only concern with that. But that's it. Pretty good little tool. Check it out. No more running along here. And then wearing your finger out. Eugene used to get bloody fingers back in the day, apparently. Kitchen. 
There you go. That's how easy it is to do the rip with this tool. Link. Leave a link below to buy it straight from Amazon. Seriously, took three days to get to Australia from Kentucky. Uh, but I've got this little block here. I'm just going to stitch it on the end there. You want to do that? Down the end of the sheet here, there's nothing behind the corner of where the sheets meet and they're going to flap around. So we've just got a bit of timber and Eugene's just going to stitch it there so it's joined. Alright, we got our mud done up, we're using corner cement. And if you see this powder here, I've just sprinkled that on, I haven't mixed it yet. That is plaster accelerant and that is going to make this patch go off very fast. Works quicker than salt too, hey gee. Oh, just that it's, it's the proper stuff. It'll wait void warranty and that's the main thing. Not that you get warranty with these patches no. anyway, but... And the benefit of a California patch is you don't need tape. The paper is the tape. Leave that there for now. Yep. Yeah, I don't like to put mud there because it can get behind the thing. I'll put it on that sheet, but yep. I won't put it there. Right. So I'll, I'll it'll load stick it out. here. Yeah. That's all good. Well.
Now here you don't want any bare patches. This is pretty important, this bit. It needs to be totally covered. If you have a bare spot, you'll probably get a bubble. Because I think it stops the bubbling. If you do that? Yeah. Sometimes it'd be. Yeah, it can still bubble. But if you've separated the paper from the piece. Yeah, that better get it in quick because it's drying. Yeah, man. If you're wondering, it is a different piece. We just magic of television. Of cutting it. This is going to be very flat. The paper on this drywall is thinner than paper tape or fiber fuse or anything else, so it's going to be a lot easier to finish. We've got it out of control. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And that's it, I'll we'll let it go off a bit.
mix of added more celery. 